Ooh, that will sound too drawmy drum. Okay. What they say. Yay, yay. <laughs> hey, friends. Hey, family. Como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl, Melissa Q. Back with another video. Yes, the sound kind of. Yes, that was high. In today's video, we are talking about moisturization. Y'all have been hitting me up saying, girl, my hair is dry. Help a sister out. Your hair looks juicy. It looks moisturized. It looks look hydrated. It looks like it had a drink of water. That's what's happening on over here because the tribe is live. And if you hadn't hit the subscribe button, girl, why? Why? I would love for you to be a part of the Missy Q family because the tribe is live and you're a part of it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell because it's going to let you know whenever I drop a video. And y'all know I'm consistent here on YouTube. Now, the time change, really not so because life has been kind of crazy. But I do tend to like to be up, you know, along the lines of this of a schedule here on YouTube. I post videos three to four times a week and you need to know when it drops okay and um yeah i think it'll be helpful because my content has a, been a lot more streamlined to helping my high porosity sisters and my natural naturalistas out there so i'm streamlining where i am helping the relaxed i'm helping the curly i love the the straight the natural you know if you're doing the silk presses and everything this is your girl even wigs i'm getting into units y'all and it clips extensions I've been wearing them um, I've worn them in the past you'll see something come up in the fall that would be pretty cool so y'all gonna look for that but in today's video we want to talk about moisturization so hydration we want to talk about them the hair looking like going from dry to hey girl hi in today's video we are gonna be talking about moisturizing our hair hydrating our hair I want to give you all some tips that I got from a few of you guys that would be helpful but some of these tips were have been ones that i have used for years so we're going to be talking about the old the old and the new and hopefully somewhere in the mix you find something that works for you that's all about you know it's all about experimentation here so uh let's stop rumbling melissa let's get into the video okay so tip number one is that you want to develop a routine. We can't expect our hair to actually get into the routine of when once it's like, you know, you get to that line of the point of no return when it comes to your hair and you need a routine. Okay. Your hair needs to feel like it's in a routine. And I promise you somehow, some way your hair figures out that you have a routine. Okay, it figures out when you're using the same shampoo over and over again. Can I get an amen? I, I just feel that some people may feel differently, but I do feel like sometimes it's great to change up some of your products. Okay, but you need a routine. Okay, wash day. And when I say a routine, when do you wash your hair? Ask yourself that question. Out of the week or out of every two months, I mean every two months, every two weeks, you know, some people wash their hair once a month. Um, I have to wash my hair once a week because of the crazy hair product buildup. Okay. But how often? My wash days are Sundays. If I have too much of like product buildup, if I'm trying a product and I'm just like, blah, I will wash my hair on a Wednesday. Okay. So I give myself a couple of days and I'm like, no, sis, it's not working. Missy Pelos, then no. Okay. It's not working. No, 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 no bueno para me. Okay. That's what she says. But I have a wash day of Sunday. So you definitely want to have a routine. Now let's talk about some extra tips of some things, which is number two, something that you can do if your hair is just like, once it gets to Sunday, it's not staying moisturized. You definitely want to moisturize. I would say moisturize and seal at least every other day. I know some of us can't do it every single day. Some of us can't, but when I say moisturize and seal it can be reactivating the product in your hair but you want to like spritz like a water-based product on your hair and then you want to seal it with an oil okay so i'm taking my oil and i'm taking my spritz i'm spritzing my hair and i'm going to take some of the oil and i'm going to scrunch it into my hair that's one of the tips that i have in terms of moisturizing the hair there are a lot of like you know hair quenchers those type of things those are the ones that you want to implement in your hair. Now, you don't want to go crazy because otherwise you're, you know, some of you, some people don't care about like shrinkage and everything. I care about that. So I like lightly mist my hair 
other times i will use a hair moisturizer something like camille rose curl love moisture milk i love that it's glycerin free i can put it in my hair and i can moisturize and it's it has the oils it has the the cream it has the water in it so that is actually helping my hair as well so you want to establish moisturizing and sealing every other day um something like that also your hairstyles have a lot to do with it now wash and goes tend to dry out very quickly on my hair but i notice if i do like a twist out i don't know when i'm twisting the hair i don't know if it locks in the moisture i don't know what really happens in that process but i notice that my hair does not look as dry and i'm putting the same amount of product on it um so that may be something that you want to consider another thing that you can do is definitely wear and use a silk pillowcase i have a silk pillowcase y'all i don't i don't play forrest has his side but i have a silk pillowcase i keep it on i take it off i wash with it put it back on y'all i do not sleep on cotton pillow this part do not sleep on okay it's going to take everything that you've done to your hair and it's going to reverse it because it's going to absorb all of those oils you're going to see stains you're going to see those type of things this actually protects this but y'all that's why i love european pillows because it covers up this okay i have a silk pillowcase or a satin pillowcase you can get one from tj maxx i hauled one I haven't even put it on and but you maybe get two um one or two get two or three i'm saying get two or three because it's going to rotate this and um you're able while you're washing one you can put the other one on so you're not depending on laundry day in order to keep your hair moisturized i highly recommend you doing this i love a bonnet but if you're wearing a bonnet still put one of these on because sometimes bonnets and hair ties and stuff slip off and you still don't want it rubbing up against uh, cotton the other reason why you want a, a silk or a satin pillowcase is because if you're putting skincare on your face, you don't want it to absorb and, you know, this is good for skincare and hair care. Okay, so just wanted to show you all that. Let's just say that it's so, so important to have a really good deep conditioner. Okay, I don't care. I know a lot of people are talking about, oh, I love this deep conditioner. I live for a good deep conditioner y'all and if the deep conditioner is not right i probably won't try anything else in your brand um i'm not saying that i don't know that's just a barometer that i have just seen with trying out so many products if your deep conditioner is legit i probably will try another product if it's not i'm like mm, if this is the most moisturizing thing then it kind of gives me a barometer for the other stuff i know not to be biased that way but that's just how my brain thinks y'all it's just how it thinks with all of these new launches these hair care products I love a good deep conditioner. This is the thing that's going to pack and penetrate the hair follicle. It's going to permeate through it, by osmosis through the hair follicle. It's going to get to the, the main shaft of that follicle and of that hair strand. So you definitely want something that's going to absorb into your hair and really nourish it. The deep conditioner that you love may not be the one that I love and vice versa. So if you find a really good deep conditioner, honey, stick with it until you find like maybe a backup or two. That's how you really, really nourish your hair, okay? And you might have to spend some more money. You might have to spend some more money. I have found that there are some amazing, amazing ones in the drugstore though, okay? I can give you some, I, I am gonna come with some flash masks, but those are the deep conditioners. Get a really good deep conditioner, Get a really good deep conditioner that's going to do you well. And tip number four is going to be after you get a really good deep conditioner, you have to get a really good shampoo that's going to take off all of the debris off the scalp and off the hair. Why am I saying that? Because if you still have product buildup on your hair and you're not washing your hair properly, okay, that's associated with shampoo or a co-wash. You need to shampoo your hair really, really well, get everything off of it. And that doesn't mean just like overstrip the hair strand. Just get a really good shampoo that's going to cleanse the hair, uh, that's going to cleanse the scalp, and that you can like start and allow that deep conditioner to penetrate. That's what you want. Okay. So it, every 
part every product should play a part in your hair you're just not putting it on just to be putting it on you need to know what it does what it's going to do for your hair and why your hair is reacting that way okay final tip i want to say in terms of hydrating the hair is not to go in so crazy with product less is more and what i mean by that is if you have a really good deep conditioner if you're moisturizing and sealing like every other day you don't have to pile on so much product really just really look into your leave-in conditioner nice oil i'm not saying that you can't style your hair i'm not saying that if you want more moisturization than curl definition you're definitely gonna have to have you're gonna have to allow your hair to really um, be a, be okay with like some applying more product throughout the week, and putting gel, putting like those things, um, putting a heavy styler on your hair when you are lay, uh, when you're moisturizing and sealing, it's just gonna like build, 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 and you're just gonna it can clog up your scalp. You could have an issue. Your scalp may be inflamed for that reason. So definitely, definitely, you know what? Just hold back on the stylers put more of that leave in and um, utilize that deep conditioner, your oils, those type of things. Find out what your hair loves and run with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.